goodly bit hot today. It's going to be, and we're going to do some kayaking. But I came out here early this morning and started moving gravel away from that wall. Uh, and you can see, you know, there's a pretty goodly bit just in that little area. And I'm pretty sure I'll need to kind of level the whole floor. So I'm liable to get a pretty good bit of it. And that leaves me with the thought, okay, what do I do with it? Because i got all kinds of places I could put gravel, but I also want to do so wisely. I don't want to just waste it. I want to put it in places that work well. And we've got a butterfly bush. Well, we've got several bushes out in the yard, and they're good to have, and the birds like them, and I like them. But they're very difficult to mow around, and we're going to have someone cutting our grass for us while we're gone. And I'm not expecting him to weed whack. So what I did was I've cut some of the signboard material and I actually found something that looks like foliage. So I'm thinking, well, even if it shows through, looking like that, it'll still be cool. So I put some around the base of the butterfly bush. I'm going to put some gravel on top of it to hold it down. And then the honey is going to put some mulch on top of that later and we've left an ample hole in the middle for the bush to go through. I always think that things like this promote growth because when the sun hits them uh, they tend to uh, water con uh, condenses, that's the right word, on them and that water will kind of keep the bush watered even when the conditions are sort of dry. So I'm going to bring my, my little snapper comet wheelbarrow wagon thing out and we'll get it in place and I'll work around that bush with some mulching stuff. Oh, the joy. Life is good here. And oops, there's a screw. I'm still finding screws. Uh, and like I say, later today we're going to go kayaking. It'll give me a chance to cool off and cool down. Yes. Yeah. bird food feeder. That way I can make a couple of passes. Uh, see where it was, I couldn't cut in here without getting into that, but if I put it halfway between these two, then I can get the mower inside of it. And also Trish said, well, the birds would probably like the feeders a little closer to the bush anyway. So I'm going to get me a little piece of that plastic and put it right there, put it down into that and then uh, gravel it also, just so when I mow, I don't have to come back and trim around the edge. 